Agenda item six would be our public hearing <coughs> items. We have a rezoning case, REZ 2014-15. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, ultimately, this case is for property that's just over 90 acres that's bounded by Patterson Street and Inner Perimeter Road in the south central part of Lenz County. What is happening here is the commission in 2005 approved this case with the condition that essentially said the property will use water and sewer instead of well accepted tanks. Since that time, the property has changed hands from the original developer. The current developer and property owner is now requesting that the county commission remove that condition so he can be free and clear to either what we believe will happen is do a community water system and septic tanks or um, go into some kind of partnership with a local organization out there to try to get water and sewer to the property. But right now, his request is to lift that condition so he's not required to pursue water and sewer. Um, the only update I can offer you since the agenda notebooks were completed um, was with the county attorney's help. We did reach out to the city of Alasta to make sure that your approval or consideration of this request would not be conflicting any type of agreement that they had. Uh, previously because their water and sewer services are the closest. Um, for reference, I did do a map on our presentation that showed the city of Alaska, the city limits in gray to the northwest. So you can see how close they are. Uh, they're within about 2,000 feet uh, to the northwest. So with that, we'll try to answer any questions you have. But we just want to provide that update and additional background for you. <coughs> any questions, Mr. Day? I have a question. Jason, yes, because that is in the vicinity Yes, ma'am, that's correct. And, and I think that's the developer's main um, concern is that that might happen at a time when after he develops the subject property, then all of a sudden the annexation is required. Are we going to pursue looking at the viability of us running water and sewer for this development? Does it, does it meet criteria that justifies us looking into the investment? We're currently looking at those uh, issues right now as far as what the, the cost of that and of course the, uh, of course the return on the investment would be huge. And um, it, 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 you have to focus not only on just this subdivision, but any other subdivision sure. or developmental areas around that, around that uh, investment. And will we know that answer before we vote on this? I don't much don't think that we will be yeah, fully because there again you've got your other uh, your other uh, property owners at this point in time uh, would have to make a decision of whether they would be willing to come onto the system, which we don't have that at this time. Which would certainly would be part of the return on the investment. Where's our closest water and sewer sewer system down to this property? I think Mr. Allen could probably help us with that. Closest water and sewer is Tuscany Falls. 40, 31 south. Gosh, no. But I think also uh, keep in mind is that as far as the septic systems go, I think that that is an acceptable uh, acceptable issue to the developer at this time. Certainly he would like to be able to maximize it, but he is willing to accept uh, a community water system and septics and of course the septic system then would be approved by the health department as far as where they you know which one where, how many they could have on it. Yes sir. Any other questions? Okay. Okay we'll move on.